Hi, John here. It's um, Friday, um, 11th of uh, November 2016. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.07 p.m. And uh, we're having glorious weather here in Auckland, New Zealand, Odahu. <coughs> now today, I'm just um, calling Te Tumutumu Paidoa for a land block at Port Aonui, east of Ruatoria. I'm one of the three land blocks that I'm an owner in, and so I want to see what the latest is on the current situation with the title and lease. Let's just get the document. Just following up on the lease of the property. With Faith North Over. What's the number? Number is I should have just set up the four. the number to call. I think I've got it on my phone here already. I just want to make sure I get the right one. Sorry, I think that's the one. Here goes. Yes, could I speak to Faith North Over, please? It's John Wanoa here from Auckland. Uh, this for the heading a twelve lease that I'm, I'm on that block. Pardon? Oh, I see. Um, um, yeah, I left about thought she might have rang already yesterday, um, but it looks like Monday now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, on Monday it'll be right in the morning or something. Uh, well, that, so far I've um, been put in as a trustee 
the main trustee and so I was waiting because the uh, uh, lease has expired, the last lease expired at the end of September and so I'm just finding where the situation is at the moment currently. I've got a letter from her uh, um, just outlining she wanted uh, my financial reports and things. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks very much. Alright, bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Well, it's a bit sad because I haven't got an answer from Faith yet. I want to go on to the block at the East Cape because uh, and what I want to eat because of the Moai Tidal Turbine project but because I'm um, startup company um, they required uh, financial reporting so I have to put something together but I've been busy on the other land issues in Auckland here in Cook Street and Waitangi land blocks and also the flag issues and Britain and America in the politics of things, okay? Uh, so, um, today I spoke to my daughter and her mum, had some lunch with them, and we went over some of the issues of the business um, and <coughs> to get her skills around things. Uh, she's uh, got accounting and business management, so uh, just trying to encourage her at some stage or another in her profession to look at this once it kicks in. Um, then I got my own boy, uh, Richard, he's into the marine side of things. I'm hoping he will do that at Port Awanui or escape on the Marangaro Sea Tall Block. I've got a um, trust clearance for the aqua farms there already that was way back in 2005, somewhere around about then. Consent from the Te Tumutumu now, it used to be the married trustee's office to put an aqua farm there and Papakaina or little village of housing. So that'll go ahead at some stage, but I'll leave that to him, Richard, and um, he's in the heavy forage industry trucking and knows a fair bit about that side of things and also an avid diver, scuba diver uh, to check on that side of things. Anyway, that's my family I'm consulting at the moment before I head for Britain. Once we've been through the <coughs> Navy and um, lease uh, occupation titles with the chiefs up in Ngāpui on the 18th, of November, this one for you. I'll be up there to put on a presentation and I didn't want to um, do anything else because I've got enough on my plate without having to um, be a scribe for uh, up there. There was another um, guy there, Patrick Monsal, uh, for that job because I don't live there and he's onto it as far as I'm concerned, the right man for that job. I need corporations and um, I'm quite aware of how he does things. So I'm looking for the right sort of format uh, for Waitangi Day, 6th of February, from Ngāpui. I've got Kingi, I had him on the line yesterday, 
King Toto Chief. And as far as I'm concerned, his name's on the documents to go to Westminster with me. And that's about all that'll happen there because the documents were in train a lot of years and I've been with him that long uh, to know how this works. But we're talking about the commerce side of this flag, the banking, the trust, and everything British uh, through the Queen on his side and the King on um, other chiefs side that I've yet to pick who it is. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's Matatu has a lead role in that side of the native surname titles that goes on these documents. You'll, you'll notice that on my latest documents, it's got Jim Wikotu, his photo there with the flag. The flag is the thing, his hands put the flag up, that's all that matters, and the Navy. Right? Whatever he says goes on this native title inside that native court on Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, inside that Marae, okay? I set it up for that reason only, to only those who are going to Westminster to show up and identify themselves, standing on their feet, with the whole history, everything, completely everything, your name, your whakapapa, or bloodline, male bloodline to the land, and that is private business between me and who I pick. You can't be someone with a name that doesn't register on the other end in Westminster. I know which names are which, so there's no need to try and go around that one. Even you'll find that some of the old people who know everything don't say anything because they don't want to tell anything. That's why Mohi said nothing to anybody and left it with me. So I'm telling you Mohi Manikau's story and my own story too. But his is inside this flag. Mine is the Maui Wainua history. Okay, so that's the two different titles to this land. Uh, so um, since I can't get to Tumutumu Pairo, I just talked to the um, receptionist, and uh, this is the third time I've rung them now, and they can't bring me back, or never left a message for me, so I'll write to them. I'm a little bit tired now from uh, going to the physio this morning in Manukau City, absolute physio, I'm happy with them. I go twice a week, my neck and my ears, tennis bad, ringing like mad, and so I'm hoping that he will do something about it and um, missed out on the gym today because I wanted to be with my daughter and her mum and where to from now, okay, where to from now for them and the other daughter in Sydney and the son here in Auckland and the other daughter here in Mangere. So that's me and the only kids I know that I have. I don't know if there's any other ones but that's it. Uh, so, Timutu Pairo, I'll get back to them next week for the lane block, here on our A12 and A10 and A8 blocks for these, so that we can start on the projects. I'm going to wrap up Cook Street, wrap up things with the Navy here and the Navy in Britain. I'm waiting back for an answer from the British Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon and the U.S. Federal State Secretary of Defense, Ashton Carter. Okay, those two main people and this flag. That's all that matters in this contract running at the moment with the Moai Hapu Chiefs. The Confederation part of the flag is 1835. And the Whakamininga part of the flag, the first part, first mortgage in Russell, Kororareka, <coughs> is the Whakamininga's title that I'm going on. I'm going on that title, not the 1835. I'm going on the 1834 title, the first British Crown Government title. Okay? There, that's it.
from there it comes out of all the other titles coming out of there. And then from the Manukau title in Auckland. For the rest of the country. Okay? That's just the precedent of a native title. So that's all I really want to say, other than um, everything's going smoothly. And I really want to um, let Ngāpui Tamata Komatu and know that between Kingi and I, we're talking military. This is military. It's nobody's business. It's private. When you're doing mortgages, lands, levy data instruments, pound notes, it's this flag of commerce that's going to matter. Everything else is to do with the land here. I'm dealing with the world on that title. The British has got to be done from the British end, not here. It's got to be done the Whakamininga part has got to do from that end because they're the principle. They're the principle of that contract between us and Britain. Right? And that holds the key. The key is in that carving that I put beside the carving at the doorway going into Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on our documents, page 2. You'll see it there in the PDF. Go to moaipowerhouse.com and click on uh, Moai Federal State Government. There you'll see the PDF files, just the, the ones that are concerning the... Um, letter to John Key, Prime Minister New Zealand, and to the um, British High Commission Secretary or Assistant, um, Louise uh, Extreme, and the other to Michael Fallon, Britain, Secretary of Defence. Okay, so I'm waiting back for an answer. I'll write to the British um, Prime Minister Theresa May and tell her we need a Admiral to be here on the 22nd of November for the 75 year New Zealand Navy celebrations. Okay, we need an Admiral from Britain to be here with us to our partner in this contract down with us. Okay, we're going to formulate things in the private as me and him and the chiefs, the ones I pick, not any Tom, Dick and Harry chief. I'm picking the right chiefs. One of them is Matatua and the other one, Ngati Pro. Um, so you got Jim, Wikotu and Manahi Tengaidi. See those two original names. I just needed one from Napoli, an original name that goes back and does not change into something else. It's got to be male line only and a male talking, not a female, because this flag is Salic law. No female to the front on your mouth. Okay, we're kicking it into life because we haven't said anything to Britain about this flag and about our part with them. They're in this together with us as us being creditors and them being to recover debts owed as a creditor. Okay? Anywhere in the world where this flag went under our native title, our native title here in New Zealand, that's been usurped by Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth for their Queen Crown Court of Vice Admiral versus the King's Bench Court Native Chief Indigene Corporate <coughs> King's Bench Court. Okay? Two different contracts. Uh, so that's that. And... Um, I'm just feeling a bit tired at the moment from the workout I had on my neck with the physio and um, the fish and chips we had for lunch with uh, Ashley and her mum. Hurry.
So there, we've had a kata, had a bit of a time together. So for me, I need my family around me, seeing as Trump's got his family around me. I need my family around me because it's very crucial time for where we're going with this flag out into the big world. I'm ready for it, as everybody else. So it's going to take quite a bit to educate people who doesn't know our history, our own Maui native Hapu indigene history. Not Maori, I'm talking Maui memorial. Okay? There was no Maori then, so that's what I'm saying. Anyway, that's all I need to say for now until I contact Te Tumutumu Pairo on Monday and tomorrow and Sunday I'll be <coughs> putting together the letter for the uh, Navy in Britain, uh, naval officer, <coughs> uh, air, air commander, uh, the uh, chief of uh, defence, uh, Philip Jones. So I uh, write to him, requesting a naval admiral to be in Auckland on the 26th to the 27th period of time of the celebrations, so that we can sit down with him and go through things for Waitangi 6th February, plus to renew our contract with them. And then we're going to stick it onto the Navy here, that we do have a live contract with Britain inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court with that Admiral. We only need one Admiral to fly here at the request of our chiefs that I'm speaking for, and the request of King William IV <coughs> as his surrogate to speak for him as the captain of the ship. Okay? So that's what I want to do this weekend, plus um, to um, sort out uh, Cook Street. Now I've warned you, you're all going to get debts. It's, it's mounted up now since I've got annex to put those invoices together for you. A trillion pounds is going up every day on each person. You see, it's just mathematics. All that time that I set that off, from the time I warned them before we went in on that section, it's billed from there. A trillion pounds a day, each. Okay? It's not amount up to a lot. I know you haven't got the money, but the Queen and all of the people, <coughs> everyone has a to fill, fit the bill, foot the bill, because they've taken that much money out right back. All that money that's been uh, spun around in fiat money, all that's going to get recovered this way. It's going to get recovered this way, right through the world, including America. So I'm appealing to uh, Donald Trump. I just watched a video with um, um, Barack Obama, outgoing president that you are now officially the President of the United States of America. Um, congratulations to you. I hope we meet soon and we can set up some business here in New Zealand under this flag of Admiralty and with our tidal turbine energy projects high on the list. You'll see some of it on my website. I'll put it onto my, um, that's on Facebook, but I'll put it onto my website underneath where you are, so that you can see moaipowerhouse.com M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M moaipowerhouse.com Okay, you go there and click on to um, my Tidal Turbines and you'll see that there and also on uh, my Federal State Government Click on that and you'll see your videos there, uh, Donald Trump, and you'll see me there making video clips to your Secretary of Defense, uh, Ashton Carter, okay, about the warship that's coming here, Samson, USS Samson, coming here and visiting here on the 22nd. I want to make sure that your Navy, thanks to the British Navy, should be coming here now that Clinton and Obama pirates are out of it. 
nothing to do with them now. Now it's between the British to come here. I'm appealing to the British Navy, watching this video, to send a warship here to represent our contract with this land of King William IV and King Ernest Augustus V, um, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the world. So he's currently there, live, and we swear our oath to him. I'm going to put documents together this weekend to present to our meeting next week in Napoli, Kataya, petitioning Ernest Augustus to the throne. I'll have Matatua, chiefs, up, up next, there who is down in Pakatani or in the Potiki or somewhere down there, Huatahuna or somewhere inside the uh, Tuhoi area, and I'll do the same there. I'll go there and sit there with them and get their petition from them for our king. Okay? So then I'll put that together and send it off to Theresa May and to the Secretary of Defence, um, Michael Fallow. There, that's that. We just want to make this flag fly in Westminster by the time I get there, after we put the flag up on the 6th of February, 2017. I want to do this before then, well before then, so we're prepared, as soon as the flag goes up here, I'm off to Westminster, to put the flag up in Devon, William Yard first, beside his memorial, that's where everybody left from that Navy Yard, and in Plymouth, the courthouse, the King's Bench Courthouse in Plymouth. Okay, so the flag goes up there, and then come to Westminster and put the flag up there, as his authority to King Ernest Augustus, legitimate King of Britain, UK, into the front. <coughs> He's going straight on the front by default of the Queen's corrupted Obama and Clinton capture, and her capture as well. Okay, so that's clear. You're, you're clear on that. I just want to alert these uh, chiefs watching these videos that I put together that I'm talking from this authority to speak for the King, because nobody ever has from here so far because they don't have the titles that are here. Not for anybody to see. That's the Monaco's business, okay, and the Wano business, and the British military and government's business to see what we have. That was put together way back with Te Rawa Te Whareherehere, Manigao, from Mangatauteri, Pa, and his Pa, and in Cambridge. Okay? 1834, that period of time, these native titles were put together in England. Okay? Right for the world. So, um, saying uh, right now, uh, at that time, King William was a king from 1830 to 1837. So it's falling right inside that commercial trading bank of England period of time he circumvented the world with those native titles to go and place them as a blueprint from this native title here. Okay? That's how it works. Please do not argue because that's the way it is. Um, so from that um, uh, this is just a message to Michael Fallow. I'm waiting for your answer from the letter I sent you and notifying you and the High British High Commission, Louise Exley, of our intent with the British Navy ship not coming here. It, it'll take too long to get here now, too late, to start the ship off to get here by the 22nd. You need longer than that for a ship to get here, not unless you've got a rocket engine underneath it. It won't get here in time. So, rather than that, I'm just asking you, Michael Fallon and Theresa May, to please send a Admiral of high ranking here to speak with us at those 
75 year celebration seal the New Zealand Royal Navy. Okay? There's no British ship coming to represent this flag in 182 years of celebration we've had at Waitangi uh, on the 28th of October and the 20th of March 1834 we celebrated on the same day, the 28th of October, that part of the Whakamania, first lot of natives and George Lambert. Uh, on the alligator, 21 gun salute for this flag and also um, uh, James, Captain James um, Reedy Clendon on his HMS His Majesty's ship Fortitude. Okay, so that ties up this flag with a 21 gun salute for this flag right on that day they stepped on this land and proclaimed it belonged to the King of England. Okay, that's how it works and that's what I'm sticking to and that's our title that I'm hoping you and the British will help us to recover all the debts owed including in America now that Trump is there. He's going to account for all the missing money for America, all those um, Clinton uh, Foundation money that's supposed to have gone for aid to countries that need it, like Haiti, it's gone into ISIS creation, arms, sales, illegally selling bits of land to Russia and other countries without the consent of the chiefs. We're talking there on the indigenous side of native title here through America and Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Pacific Islands, okay, and even India and Africa applies to the same native title, uttering of words or using words to affect a native title if they can't prove where it came from, on their titles, it came from here, I'm saying it came out of this place, and on their titles, that we're seizing the whole lot back, and all the missing money in the Queen Victoria Trust. That's where King Todor comes in on that side of his King Edward and Queen Victoria line down the female side. Okay, so he's welcome to that, but I've got Jim Week or two down the male native chief side to speak straight to these lands and also um, Manahi Tangadi to speak also as the native court judge. I'm the Native Land Commissioner, Commissioner of Lands, Native Lands, and also Creative Sheriff. Okay? The, the registry will be in England, in uh, Westminster. We're running dual government from there around the world on 250 countries under this flag from Westminster. The new Westminster. We're going to have a big clean out there, Mattel, over there. And uh, Jackie Little Gordon in Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire in Scotland. I'm going to Scotland to check the titles of the Manukau Land Company that put these titles together in this country. Okay, seize all the ones up, Kururareka, Australian New South Wales titles, and reissue them. We're about to seize them again. The same way as the British did in 18, around 1868. Um, seed all those titles and reissue them. All the titles issued in 1840 um, came from the Manukau Land Company at the Manukau Heads. Captain William Cornwallis Simon. I stepped off his ship and said the land belonged to the king. Okay? Oh, in this case, the land belonged to the queen because it was 1840, Queen Victoria, Australia, and that's where those titles came, Australia. Uh, no, in that one, that, that Cornwallis title came straight from Britain. Right? Captain William Simons came straight from Britain, there, to the Manukau Land Company in Britain. Okay? The Manukau Harbour, the Manukau City, the Manukau everything in this country. It's got its name written all over. That's all I can say. I've got the titles here for that. No arguments. So that's about that. And um, 
I'm hoping that um, I can speak to or write to Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, or Boss Donald Trump, uh, and um, um, make some business through this flag with him, with the tidal turbines in California for start. And see if it's suitable enough to put that in there, and we'll run through that time at some time, not just now. Let him settle in first. And after Christmas, we'll go into that. So that's all, really, for now. I'm going to have some rest, and we'll see you and catch you again soon. Bye for now.